Hello and welcome back to the My Menagerie channel and today I'll be reviewing the brand new Always Bratz Chloe doll from the Bratz line. I know there's a delay between the other three dolls and finally reviewing this one. It was mainly because she was my least favorite of the four and a issue with Amazon stocking her. Um, I wasn't able to buy her until uh, end of January-ish because she would just keep going in and out of stock. Chloe should be available at most Walmarts. I know she's available online, but in few stores in person, you have to like actually check. Not every Walmart has her yet. And like I said, Amazon also has all four Always Brat stalls. And Target will most likely have them later this year. So here she has side art, just like all the other boxes. And I'll show you what they all look like together uh, in a second. But there actually are two variants of the box. And this, unfortunately, I didn't get the the TikTok version where it advertises the show on TikTok. Hi, my name is Chloe, and my fashion passion changes with my mood. Sometimes it's casual cool, and sometimes it's drama. My friends call me Angel, and that's what I am. And it just says that again in a couple languages. And this includes one doll, one scrunchie, one top, one jacket, one skirt, one pair of leg warmers, uh, one pair of sunglasses, one pair of earrings, one necklace, two hair clips, one purse, one pair of shoes, one cell phone, one lipstick, one nail polish bottle, one compact and one hairbrush. And then we have Chloe art on the back as well. And here's the barcode in case you want to look for her in Walmarts. And then we just have the item descriptions again. So I'm going to open her and start the review. This is actually what they all look like together. And here's my, like, MGA shelf. Um, these have all been opened. I just like the display art so much that I used it. So here she is out of the box. And I wanted to provide an update regarding um, the availability of the Always Brat stalls. So it seems um, in this past month, there's been an issue with Walmart stocking Sasha dolls in that I believe no person has been able to find Sasha in stores and I think that is kind of suspicious um from what I've seen on Twitter the always brats dolls are being shipped separately and they're in individual boxes like they'll get a shipment from MGA and it'll be just Jade dolls and it seems that Walmart has supposedly not ordered any Sasha dolls. And from what I've seen on pictures of Walmart shelves, it's just been Yasmin, Jade, and Chloe. I just wanted to bring attention to how disappointing that is. Um, in 2024, um, the only black character of these four is not being properly stocked in shel on shelves. But aside from that issue, um, these are all of the accessories that Chloe has come with. And they're all right. A lot of pearl accessories. I think the pink like helps contrast with the blue. My main issue with this doll was the amount of blue she was wearing. And I'm just not a fan of like jeans on jeans on jeans. I like kind of different colors being used on when it comes to fashion. And I thought that Chloe was a little too samey. Her little phone is like a copy of Instagram, I guess. And I wish they gave her a blue brush and not a pink brush because I think Sasha came with a pink brush. I do love these glasses though. I do think they're the most successful um, with the Always Bratz line. I think Jade has the worst glasses. 
and um, Yasmin and Clo Sasha's being about the same. I will say this doll is a lot better in person than the stock photos. Uh, here she is without the jacket, and she has articulated uh, an articulated body, just like the other Always Bratz dolls, except for the knees. I like the detailing on this. Everything feels like jeans, and that pearl, um, I don't know what that's called, belt or chain, um, is a really nice addition. These leg warmers, I don't know, I don't like them i don't love them but it looks fine i guess it makes it look cohesive i'm not sure how i feel about the color blocking on the shorts and i th love the the white top that she has i also think her hairstyle is really nice and a great kind of like modern interpretation i know a lot of like doll restylers kind of go for this look or something similar but yeah and here's the poster she comes with i finally have all four always bratz dolls and always bratz posters and now my wall can be complete and now we have all four posters up yasmin sasha jade and chloe and then i have the reproduction posters too as well as the pretty and punk sasha the kylie poster and one uh, Rock Angels poster.